If I wanted to feel sorry for myself, I'd have stayed with your father. Whew, that is quite a drop. Let me help you down. I've got this. What? Oh, please. Three times I saved your life. The sinkhole, your foot. What? You'd be dead if my mom hadn't taught me to dress a wound. <sighs> Fine. Two times then. The sinkhole and just now. <sighs> hey, let me see that. Leave it. It's nothing. Hey, I'm fine. Come on, roll up your sleeve and just admit we're friends already. This is not an admission. Let me see. Yeah. <sighs> it's getting worse. Listen, it ain't broken or bleeding. It'll calm down. It always does. <sighs> Let's go. The kid said the ward was this way. You ever hear about the North Pole? Is that old fairy tale? Yeah, like this war. Old white guy founds it, food and fresh water everyone gets along. <laughs> oh, yeah. That sounds like the fairy tale to me. It's probably just a couple old timers holed up underground. I just hope they got a few supplies for trade. Otherwise, we won't last much longer. You think people actually live like this? Huh. <sighs> I'm not sure. I don't know what's in that Fulton's original blend, but I never seen nobody that happy before. Not in real life. It's about time. What took you?
Come on. Let's get some distance between us and those bodies. Hey, over here. Side of what? Nothing. <laughs> Something my ma used to say. No way the war's real. I wouldn't mess like this out here. You know, maybe best we head back. We retrace our steps. We can find another way out.
okay. You're safe. Whoa, whoa, hold up. We're friends. We're here to help. Can't hold this forever, Bo! Still got each other. <laughs> right. Follow us, you two. That won't be the last of them. It's not far from here, but the way down collapsed behind us. We're gonna have to find another way out. know they've lost.
Hey, you okay? Not bad shooting, Traveler. Yeah, I had some practice. I'll bet. But don't worry. The ward's as safe a place as any. Safer. So... It's really real. Food, and water, and... Folks living with some old white guy? <sighs> More or less. <coughs> whoa, whoa, let me get you some water. <sighs> Ooh, that looks like root rot. I've never seen a case this bad. I'm fine. I don't know why everyone... We need to get her to work. And quick. Doctor, there's her only chance. We'd better get moving. Before we lose the light. Take good care of her. Welcome to War 13. Hey, don't worry. Riggs is right. She'll be fine. Are you okay? Just a headache. Hey, hey, Clementine. Uh, let me get you some water. I'm fine. Oh, you're not fine. You need rest. Oh! He's the ward's mayor. Thinks that puts him in charge of everything and everyone. Listen, I'm gonna check in with Ford, and then I'll get some rest, okay? I've been through a lot worse, you know. So, uh, Traveler, um, <clears throat> your friend will be fine. I'm Bo. Bo Ward, and this is Ward 13. He must have come a long way. I mean, the route's dwindling and all, but the road's still a dangerous place. What were you two doing out there? For the Ward? Really? Huh. I didn't know anybody knew what we were doing here. <laughs> we've just, uh... You know, we've been cut off from the world for so long that... Well, I'm surprised people know about us outside the gate. Feels kind of nice, actually. Hey, ask around if you need something. Oh, start with Ford. I'm sure he'd like to meet you. You ever climb to the top of that tower in the city? It's so beautiful. You can see everything. Do you... Watch your tongue, young lady. 
Excuse me? I'm 132 years old, in case you forgot. And I am not your child. You don't have authority over me. On this, I do. Uh... <clears throat> we'll talk about this later. Out of my way. Here. Ah, the traveler, of course. Wallace said, yes, uh, right on time. Sorry you had to see that. But then again, you've been around. I'm sure you know. Families fight. Andrew Ford. Good to make your acquaintance. In the flesh. Huh, how about that? I'm sure you've got a lot of questions, and I've got a favor to ask. So let's get to it. You first. That's a longer story than I can indulge right now. Let's keep it to this. You know how some things you drink can make you drunk? And some things you eat can make you sick or sleepy? Well, other things do this. It's a great answer, just not a full one. Uh, not you precisely, as in... Name, rank, serial number. But I knew someone was coming. Aren't you clever? Skeptic. That's fine. It so happens I knew you'd be coming today. Or I hoped. Our young Wallace told me. Wallace? He's a special kid. A lot like somebody I used to know. She had bad dreams, too. Dreams about... Things that hadn't yet come to pass. It's more like he can see really far into the present. Sometimes. All right, traveler. Now that you've shot your shot, here's mine. I need an able young scrapper to help an old man out. Talk to Wally. You'll find him out by the docks. After that, gear up and then meet me at the ward gate. I tell you a story. We can discuss this later. I'm just pulling ya. Name's Brabus, and I run security around here. Well, seeing as you got the mayor's personal approval, I reckon you his problem now. I also make sure folks hereabouts can protect themselves. They ain't just the root kicking around. A lot of folks still ain't chummy with this whole rebuilding society business. I used to be one of them. Up until about 20 years ago, I ran a pack called the Mud Duck. The doggy dog world back. Things might be different. Two shots, center mass, and one to the head. Stop most of your problems.
Greetings. Forgive me. I am not good with Paxeltech faces. Oh, it is new. I thought I had seen it before. So difficult to tell Paxeltech apart without hoof and horn. I am Sa Israk Thadwell. Uh, my Paxeltech name is Dwell. I sell crystals from my world. They make only the finest. You'll find Wally out by the old docks. You'll find Wally out by the old docks. See you, Traveler. You're the one Ford's been waiting for. Though, he doesn't know he's been waiting. He thinks he needs help. It's her who needs it. You know. And you don't. Sorry, I shouldn't say. Things get... messier when I tell them. I'm Wallace. Did I say that yet? Probably. The sight, you know? <laughs> Sorry, I probably said that already, too. You have a path to walk. You choose the first step here, but your path can change if you want it to. a lot of sense now. You're right, of course. Your path is waiting. Tell Brabus and McCabe I sent you. They have what you need. They're the next step on your journey. Till next time. Oh, 
How's the war treating you? You can treat you worse if you like. You want my permission, stranger? You're gonna have to prove your worth. Huh? Yeah, Bo. I'm looking to take over this place, see? And he's all that stands in my way. So what I need hmm. from you is... Yeah, I need something with a longer <laughs> barrel. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. I couldn't get through it all. I'm just pulling you again, stranger. We're all friends here, even me and the mayor, basically. Now the firing range is yours anytime you like. Don't need no one's permission. That boy what talks to the root? <laughs> I don't trust Wally with a hot meal. But I also ain't dumb enough to cross him. I don't reckon he was any more specific. Right. Well, the boy's crazy, but he ain't stupid. And I can see your gear is, uh, lacking, to say the least. If he asks, you tell him I gave you this. Uh, no charge. Ah, Riggs is gonna talk my ear off if I don't send you over to him next, isn't he? Fine. Go see Riggs, then. Tell him he can do whatever the hell he wants. Uh, maybe I just need to go see Riggs. I can probably help with my gun. <sighs> I swear to shit. You're serious, aren't you? All right, so what the hell is this journey? I swear. If that boy weren't so goddamn right all the time, he and I'd be having words. Percussive ones. Fine. Well, the only reason anyone bothers me is because I'm good with a hammer. So either I can modify your weapons, or we can find a more creative use for it. <laughs> Tell you what. I heard you picked up something strange on your little jaunt earlier. Maybe I could do something with it. to help with whatever journey he saw you on. Just tell Wally to be more specific next time. Yeah, so we're done here, right? Or do I need the hammer again? The best news I've heard all day. <sighs> Look, it's not personal. I just don't like being distracted. I get into a zone, you know? Pisses me off when people come by and interrupt my me time. But I'll tell you what. You're clearly not the average stray that shows up here, so I'll make you a deal. You find anything interesting out there, bring it back to me and I'll see if I can use it to mod your weapons, okay? Oh, and if you tell anyone I was nice to you, I will cut you. What is it now? What do you need? Friend, <laughs> Glad that's right. But everybody calls me Riggs. I try to keep folks safe out there. My specialty is armor and weapons upgrades. Speaking of which, Bo mentioned you might need some help getting your feet back on, do you? Well, whatever you need, don't be afraid to ask. We all help each other out here. <laughs> Even McCabe. I don't suppose he was more particular about why. Yeah, that sounds like Pravis. Right. Well, I've got a pretty focused skill set. I reckon I know what he means. Come to me if you ever need to upgrade your equipment. Be safe out there.
Mm. Uh, I need something along the way. Look ready to face anything. What do you say? Ready to see what's down there with me? Then let's not waste any more time. This way. the handle to make it work. This used to be a research facility, cutting edge. We did things down here nobody dreamed of. Not before nor since. Yet, for all our manpower, we didn't know what the stones really were. Until it was too late. The stones? <laughs> the world stones. Giant red crystals that let us see into other worlds. Even travel to them. So, what? We just hide the stones away and hope the Soviets hadn't found their own? <laughs> no. We had to know everything there was to know about it. It was a matter of national security, of pride. So yeah, we opened the door and walked through. But... Something was waiting on the other side. It didn't happen right away. <laughs> the inhabitants of the worlds we traveled to couldn't follow us. We thought we were safe. But yeah, the route found a way. After that... Well, we all know what happened after that. Locked, huh? Well, this is my house. Come on. I gave Ellen a few things to hang on to in case of emergency. Eh, she must have hidden it around here somewhere. Come on, Ellie, where'd you hide it? That red thing, we call it a dragon heart. <laughs> Don't ask why. Take it with you. You might need it. Come on, let's go. Hey, take 
Take a look at that matchbook you found. I got a hunch. Take a look at that matchbook you found. I got a hunch. Hey, take a look at that matchbook you found. I got a hunch. stone. Yes. Or part of it, anyway. Every shard's as useful as the whole. We shut it down after Harsgard died. Like I told Ellen at the time. The damn thing's more dangerous than useful. Huh. Of course not. Ah, never mind. Now, Let's see if that worked. Work to do what exactly? Not just lock it away, but get some explosives and bury it in a tomb of concrete. More dangerous than useful, Traveler. Remember that. Ford. Ford? Ford! Oh, man. Bo is gonna be pissed. Woke it up. Clementine? Hey. Did he tell you how to use it? Do I even want to? System failure is imminent. The core has been compromised. The utility is required. Commencing acquisition.
thank the Founder. You... you're alive! Where's... what happened? Yeah, I'll bet if the World Stone's involved. Maybe, uh, start at the beginning. You were with the Founder in the Old Ward, right? Where'd he go? Wait, what? Clementine? Where is she? Is she okay? Right, right, sorry. Uh, Clementine, she... she means a lot... to all of us. We gotta find her. I'll get everybody together. If she went through the World Stone, she... she could be anywhere. No, 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 I mean she could be anywhere. Do you understand? Like... like there's entire other worlds out there. All right. I'll get Bravis and Riggs. I'll tell them to... to... Oh, what the hell am I doing? I don't know what's out there any more than you do. Oh, I I'd be putting the whole town at risk. Clem wouldn't want that. Hell, it's a miracle you came back. No. We gotta trust you on this, like you said. Is that... Is that all right? Thanks, Traveler. Talk to the folks around town. They should have any supplies you need. <laughs> you, you know, Ford used to tell me, old Commander Ford, not the Founder, that a leader and a hero are two different things. The leader's place is always with her people. I thought she was just taking a dig at her grandfather for leaving all the time, but I think I'm starting to understand her better now. If you need anything, you know where to find me.